four and four at one point. Now you guys have won six of seven. What's changed in the last few weeks that has allowed you to get this far? I think the, the, uh, the younger guys are really stepping up. They're really accepting the roles and just really playing together now. I think that's the biggest part. Talk about your play this year, uh, leading the team in scoring. Going into the season, did you expect to, to be in that role? Um, kind of. I knew I had to play a big role this year just because I'm a, I'm a lone return, uh, returning starter this year and just got to be a leader for the team. So, Did you kind of feel um, I had to take on a little responsibility just because sure. of your experience? Yeah, for sure. Um, five players on this team average seven or more a game, so even though you're around 16, there's plenty of other weapons. How important is it to have that balance, especially against big teams? That's huge. You know, other people can step up, too. I mean, Dante DeClean just stepping up big time this year, hitting threes. That's really helping us. Early in the season, it kind of looked like it might be De Pierre Nash in, in the FRCC. That's going to change now. Uh, you guys pretty confident you can win this thing? Nash Robin will be tough, yeah, but we just got to take one game at a time and just keep playing the way we play. Unfortunately, weather's been a part of the season this year, too, yeah, with no, uh, the coldest. How frustrating is it to players when you're getting games canceled and sometimes even practice? Yeah, I'm pretty frustrated about the Manitowoc game tonight, or tomorrow. So, I mean, I want to keep playing. It's our next game next Tuesday, so that's a week without a game. For you personally, what did you do this past offseason to get better? Spent a lot of hours up here shooting, working out, just getting better every day. Did you always have confidence that this team would make the run it's on right now? I think, yeah, for sure. I knew we, if we play the right way, we can be good. Uh, up to this point, what's uh, your best high school sports memory? The Pure game, I would say. <laughs> yeah, that was that was something else. Talk about winning that Depeer game. Um, they've kind of owned this conference, and you yeah. guys have always been nipping at their heels. Yep. How big was that to get that win? and? You know, maybe show them uh, Bayport's not too bad. It's about time. Finally getting over that at home. So. Were, was there ever a, a shred of doubt in your mind that you were going to beat them? To be honest, I thought going in that game that we were going to take that one. Mm -hmm. I really did. Okay, uh, favorite place to play on the road? On the road? Ooh. Whether it's a good shooting environment, good fans, uh, you win there all the time? I like, I like Notre Dame. I like the court and I like their hoops. Good environment, it really is. Uh, for you, what are your college plans? Maybe play D3 basketball, maybe D2, I don't know yet. Have you had offers or just letters? Talk, just talked to a lot of D3 schools. Any schools in specific or? St. Norbert. Okay. A little bit there. That's, that's way where I'm leaning right now, but that's all there. And then uh, final thing, what makes this a successful season for you guys? Playing together, just getting better every day. That's that's pretty much it. Madison knows got to be a thought, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. That'd be that'd be amazing.